Two former lawyers for Donald Trump in the spotlight tonight. One, the latest co-defendant to plead guilty in the election interference case against the Republican frontrunner. The other, a star prosecution witness at his fraud trial in New York. Laura Jarrett has late details. And for weeks, attorney Jenna Ellis fiercely defended then-President Trump as he falsely claimed the 2020 election was rigged. Today, she sobbed as she told a judge she was wrong. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. Ellis in a Georgia courtroom pleading guilty to a felony for helping fuel lies about thousands of dead people casting votes in 2020. I failed to do my due diligence. Smiling for her mugshot just two months ago, now the fourth co-defendant to flip in Fulton County's sprawling election interference case against the former president and more than a dozen others. Mr. Trump has pleaded not guilty, arguing he's being targeted by Democratic prosecutors because he's the Republican frontrunner. He was back in a Manhattan courtroom today, facing the state's star witness, his former fixer turned foe, Michael Cohen. This is about accountability, plain and simple. Raise your right hand. It was Cohen's congressional testimony that jump-started the New York case, where his former boss now stands to lose his namesake company, accused of exaggerating the value of his assets to receive better loan terms in a $250 million civil fraud suit. It was my experience that Mr. Trump inflated his total assets when it served his purposes. Today, Cohen said he was tasked by the former president with boosting Mr. Trump's total assets to achieve a number he arbitrarily elected. While well, Mr. Trump's legal team has argued real estate values are subjective. Outside of court, Mr. Trump took aim at Cohen's credibility, pointing to Cohen's guilty plea for tax fraud and lying to Congress. And Laura is here. Michael Cohen will be back on the stand again tomorrow. Yes, he will face more cross-examination by Mr. Trump's legal team tomorrow as they're trying to show the judge why he simply shouldn't be trusted given things that he said in the past. Mr. Trump also expected back in court tomorrow. They were seated just feet from each other today, the first time they've been in the same room in five years, Lester. Right, Laura Jarrett, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.